Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to another live edition of Mafia Roundtable with Dominic Zicali. Hope everybody's having a wonderful weekend. Hope you didn't bet what you can't afford and you're doing well on your bets, the games you did bet. Um, so we're here again. Um, and like I said, this is just getting started on this uh, platform. It's just amazing. Um, I'll go into everything. First, I want to address some people uh, that commented. I just didn't have a chance. Usually, I acknowledge them. Guys, I'm doing well. Um, great day. Good weekend. Uh, just relaxing today. Went to the gym today. Had a Actually, for some reason, I was really, really, my joints were killing me. I was taking, um, it's a uh, over the counter, it's for joints. It's like joint relief, and I stopped taking it. Oh my lord, I felt so much just joint pain. So I have to go back on those. And I, I didn't think they were helping, but they really were. So you find out once you stop taking something that it was helping. So definitely going back on it. But I did chest uh, and buys. And uh, once I got into the workout, maybe about 20 minutes into it, um, you know, where the blood started going into my shoulders and elbows, I started feeling much better. But, you know, you just have to sometimes grind it out. Uh, before I forget, Vince, thank you so much for the contribution. It's greatly appreciated, as always. Um, I'm going to read some of the comments from the last show. Uh, again, people, I'm not going to tolerate nonsense talk, so <clears throat> it's not going to happen anymore. Just pulls from the show. Uh, everybody knows me. I'm very, very fair when it comes to haters and listening to people. And, you know, um, I give everybody the respect. And then sometimes you'll see I'll go off the handle a little bit. But it happens. I'm only human. So, um, and before we go into the show, people, it's Christmas time. It's the holidays coming up. Go to egvodka.com, order six bottles or more, put the promo code at the end. Don't worry, at the end when you're checking out and you put your credit card information, there's a promo code. Put fluff fluff, I'll pay for all shipping. So you're basically getting it at liquor store prices, delivered at your doorstep. Great for a holiday gift to have a drink. I mean, it's really that smooth. It's excellent. Go to egvodka.com, order it today. And then for the holidays, we have always go to alwayslitcigars.com and get your Bad Santa cigar and three Capo cigars. They're out. They're available. They'll be shipped out immediately. And they're hand-rolled. They're really good cigars. You will not be disappointed with either, either product. Um, so I'm going to go in to read some of the comments uh, from the last show. And then we'll go into, and also I added to the list, Jeff Nadeau made a great statement. He had a good show the other day. Go to his channel, watch it, talking about what's going on. And I like Jeff. He keeps it fair, he views his opinion, and that's it. And there's times where you could tell him, he might say A, B, and C. I might say D, E, and F, and he'll be like, okay, all right. Like he's open-minded. So and that's the way I try to be too. So um, let's go. Dom, couldn't agree more with Joey on this one. He has every right to say something. He didn't rat. You're correct. You're absolutely correct. He could talk about myself, Michael, Sammy, um, all day long. But when you're going to label a legend like Sonny, Sonny Franchese a rat because he associated with his kid, that's that's just that's out of line. It's inappropriate. And Michael did address that. So that's where he's totally wrong. Um, and that's it. Even the snake was afraid of Sonny. He knew what a powerhouse he was and how much respect he had from real gangsters. Absolutely. Thousand percent. Sonny was definitely a legend, stand up man. And at the end of the day, it's also a parent. And like they say, parents love sometimes you overlook everything. I had commenters tell me, <clears throat> Dom, if my son had me locked up, put me in jail, set me up, robbed me, you know, I'm going to be angry. I'm going to be upset. But in time, I'm going to forgive him. That's my son. That's my child. And people, I don't know if Joey has any children, but when you do have a child, 
it's unconditional love you give them. Like you don't, you just want to see them prosper, do good. Uh, you might not agree with their decisions, but at the end of the day, you know, it is what it is. Um, I'll go into the story more. So let me just read some more comments. If you aren't on the streets anymore, what would you do? What would you have done to Joey? Gene wouldn't get within reach of Joey or Joe. Their crew would bury that rat. Well, if I was in the streets still, if I was part of that life, I wouldn't even associate with Joey. I wouldn't acknowledge him. I wouldn't accept him as if he was a made guy just because he's going on social media. And I'll explain that later. Um, so. The fact that Gene says specific, I have respect for Michael, but did not forget how how bad, how much crap he was talking, how much crap he was talking about Michael in the beginning when he started YouTube. Well, if I recall, Gene was telling Michael, just, you know, keep it real, keep it real. And that's where Gene gets upset. Gene speaks what's on his mind and... You, you can't knock him for it. Sometimes, yes, he does come out with things he shouldn't be saying, but he'll learn. He'll grow into himself. But um, at least he does have respect for Michael. Uh, and you heard him say that. But he was just upset because, you know, there's some people, they don't like calling themselves a rat. They categorize themselves differently. And um, I'll go into that later into the show. Dom, you handled this perfectly. Joey is still in the life. He doesn't make excuses for that or act as if he's reformed. Whenever anyone argues, agree, whenever anyone agrees or not, he's at least being who he is. He's a gangster and doesn't want to be anything else. I f and you, you know what? There's more to this one. Um, I agree with that. You're right what you're saying. And, you know, it's his prerogative. He's doing his own thing. I feel like you let your loyalty to Gene blow this up. Go watch that first show. You are you started off level-headed, and then Gene went wild. Listen, I can't control Gene. Gene is my boy. Gene was part of the Bonanno crime family. He was an associate. So, yes, maybe um, out of respect of where he was um i'm gonna look out for him a little bit more so hopefully he'll listen he'll grow into himself and it's not about violence you know gene's just you know he gets fired up he doesn't like people talking smack to him and uh hopefully he won't get in trouble but you know all i could do is guide him give him wisdom and try to help him in that sense he's, he's his own man can't control his destiny he could only control it Dom, you were on point on this show, but come on, bro. Joey doesn't sneak into Tampa. Well, from what I was told, and I didn't do the research, um, you know, the guys obviously, how did I know he was in a Cuban place? Uh, and when he did, the way he did come in, open Tampa opened him with, Tampa accepted him with open arms. Okay. So, you know, teach his own. If he wants to make it like Tampa accepted, he was just, Throwing a dig at Gene, we all know that. Um, saying that everybody accepts him, and you know, it's just BS. So it's just BS. It's just drama on this uh, in this genre. But Okay, I'm not even going to go into any more. It says a lot. Um, I just go into the show, keep it brief. So I know people are getting ready for football or watching football. So um, first off, I'm going to start it, today's show with Jeff Nadu. Jeff Nadu said it right. And I'm just going to use the people that were in the life. 
who took the oath. You have Sammy the Bull. You have Michael Franchese. Mikey Scars. Joey Molino. John Gotti Jr. And myself. First words, Omerta. Omerta. Code of silence. Respect the life. Secret society. You don't speak to newspapers. You don't speak to reporters. You don't speak to anyone about the life. You don't go out glamorizing the life. Those are no-nos. Um, and that's it. We all got our finger pricked. When I say finger prick, they prick your finger, blood comes out, gets you put it onto the saint. You have a saint in your hand, they set it on fire. Um, with some meaningful words after that. But you take the oath, mafia, the illegal mafia, omerta. We're not in Hollywood. If you're true to the life, if you're still in the life, you're not denouncing it, you're not a rat. We all broke that code. We all broke it. And I know people are out there, they want, you know, half of you people, no, I shouldn't say half of you people, but the people that love Joey, you people are worse than the mafia, being contradictory. Because I don't care what you say, how many hurtful things you say, or the nonsense you spew out. In the words of Murta, he's a rat. By going on social media, he is a rat. You might as well cooperate. You might as well go talk to the government, Joe. There's no doubt about it. I'm sorry. Gene was a thousand percent correct on, uh, right on Jeff Nadu's show. The guy cooperate. He's out there publicizing. You don't do that. You took a code of silence. Not a code of publicity going out there, going on the internet, publicizing. You don't do it. You don't do it. Now he's overstepping the lines. He called Sonny Franchise a rat. A rat. Why? Because Michael looks at it differently with his cooperation. And Michael said it. You want to call me a rat? Go ahead. You want to call me a cooperator? Go ahead. Michael knows. You walked in. He broke the code of Omerta. Cool. He's cool with that. But don't call his father a rat because a, a love for a child is unconditional. Is unconditional. So that's where uh, Joey overstepped his lines over his bounds. And folks, you can't have your cake and eat it too. I'm sorry. Even Sammy said it. Sammy still thinks he's a gangster in his own words. He will never call himself a rat, a cooperator. No, we're all, we all ratted, ratted. That's the street terminology. The educated word is cooperator, informant. Um, we all told, there's all paperwork. And But Sammy did say it right. Joey, it's a disgrace what you're doing. You're supposed to be a boss. I think he used the words alleged. I know Joey's still a boss. Joey's still a boss. He didn't walk away from the life. He didn't denounce it. Still in the life. But that's his prerogative. He could do what he wants. When you take the code of Omerta, you're not supposed to be going on social media. You're not supposed to be talking to the newspapers, press, anybody. Anybody. You're supposed to walk away. You're not in Hollywood. You want to go to Hollywood? Go out to California. Go out to California, start a show. So, and Sammy was right with that. Joey is like on the fence. So, uh, probably doing this knowing, well, if the government comes after me again and they tie me back in as being the boss, now at least I could use this that I could show them. I was on social media that the mafia. So, he'll use this as a plan of attack when, if he ever gets another case, if they come after him, he'll use all the shows and everything that he advocates and this and that. So it's a good move. It's like the chin, Vincent Gigante out of, uh, with the uh, Genovese crime family, the boss, he played the crazy act. That he wasn't the boss. Let me, this is how I'll evade law enforcement. I'm crazy. I belong in a loony bin. Meanwhile, he didn't. So it's just an act. 
That's that's all it is. And I'm going to end this one. I'm keeping it short, and then we'll go into the comments. But people, be open-minded. Stop with the nonsense. Um, and this is just going to get started. I know there's going to be a lot more coming up. But you know what? It, it, everybody, listen, it's all good at the end of the day. And I'm keeping it real. You know you could come here. You're going to hear it straight <clears throat> the way it is. I was in the life. Yes, I had a short tenure. I moved up real quick, real quick. I had many years I was groomed from a kid into the mafia. So I know the do's, don'ts, what you're not supposed to be doing. And there's a lot of things. And you know what? I'm going to throw this out again, again. And one of the followers said this. I think it was Xavier James. Joey Molino was so against ratting, so against people that associate with rats. And he told this, some of the podcasters out there, I'm not going on your show. I'm not doing anything with you because you had rats on your show. Cool. So he made a statement. He's not affiliating with rats. But let me tell you something. The channel we push back is affiliated with John Gotti Jr. Okay? Affiliated with John Gotti Jr., that's jo but Joey Molino bothers with them. Can't have it both ways, Joe. Can't have it both ways. You're talking out of two ends of your mouth. Two ends of your mouth. So, and this is Chicklets telling you. Can't do it, Joe. Can't do it. They're affiliated with John Gotti Jr., but that's okay. Or you're going to accept John Gotti Jr. because he had a weak moment. Oh, I gave the 302s. I had a weak moment. He's a rat. He's a rat. So I'm just going to end it like that. Michael didn't go see uh, Michael Francesa's show. He spoke about Joey. I'm sure everybody did see it. Um, very well articulated the way he addressed it. You see he was a little uh, agitated because it's his father. He loved his father. And his father was a legend. And Michael's right. Joey couldn't shine his father's shoes on Sonny's worst day. Uh, everybody's entitled to their opinions. We respect it. But when you start throwing daggers at people's parents because they accepted it, that, that's not cool. That's not cool. But all you haters out there, you'll make excuses for Joey. So I think you got to stop sucking his balls and, and move on. Move on. Call it the way it is. If somebody's wrong, say it. Say, you know what, Joe? You're wrong. And we can't tell you any more facts. Even Jeff Neduce, he said it the best. He said it the best. Omerta. Omerta. That's the code we take when we join the mafia. Joey violated that code by going on social media. So what do you call it, folks? What do you call it? I know. He's not talking about anything. Shouldn't be on there. Period. Shouldn't be on there. Period. But we'll see in due time. We'll see in due time where it leads to. So with that, um, we'll just go into some comments. And then hopefully we'll keep it under an hour. Sometimes I get absorbed with all the comments. But uh, let's go. Let's see what we have. Um, I am a We Push Back supporter. And Gotti is no way affiliated with them. Where's the proof in that? Okay. That's your opinion. Uh, there is proof with that. He's with We Push Back. So um, somebody will come on here and answer that. I don't have to go into it. When Sonny got out of prison, he he was in his 90s and alone. So, yes, he kept his family close to him. And it's his son. It's his son. And I even think Michael was visiting him when he was in prison. I'm not sure if he did or didn't. But you know what? Here, uh, we got... Angel Gotti's what we push back, not Junior. And Junior's behind Angel Gotti, so cut the bullshit. So, but I respect that. Thank you. Hey, Dom from Australia. Glad we got Australia in the house. Good day, mate. Uh, Jeff Nadu as a gangster haircut. You know what? Jeff Nadu's a man. Don't make fun of somebody because he has the, you know, whatever haircut he has. That's not nice. Really. Does that make you feel good, Jason? You know, Jeff's a nice guy. At least he's putting out content. He could have easily walked away. He could easily be charging for his content, but he's not. 
and his stories are thorough. And I got to give Jeff credit because he's fair. If he doesn't like something, he'll tell you. If he disagrees with you, he'll tell you. That's the way I like it. He's not one of these guys that suck their balls. Oh, Joey, low, bow down, Joey. He's not like that. He'll tell it the way it is. So, guy, give him that. Okay, Joe. And you know what? There was somebody else saying, I actually played the tape. And people still defended him. Still defended him. Joey didn't say Sonny. Joey didn't say Sonny. Yes, he did. That was Joey talking about it. Joey brought up the fact. Michael's a rat. And even his father, blah, 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 blah. Sonny's a rat. Because he condoned that. He accepted that. So people, stop. Take the take the wax out of your ears. Take the blinders off. Call it the way it is. Or you're just in that much denial. Plus, Jeff Nadu just lost his dad. So let's take it easy on him. Yes. And the condolences to the Nadu family with that loss. Listen, folks, I'm not aggravated. I get agitated. You know why, maybe? Because I keep it straight. I keep it real. So when people just talk nonsense, it's just, it's bothersome. You could show them this bottle has liquid in it. They'll tell you no. They'll, they'll argue with you. It's like that gets frustrating at times. Dom, big fan. Do you think Fanchese was able? Do you? I'm sorry, it's jumping on me. Dom, big fan. Here we go. <laughs> it jumped again. Sorry, Enzo. Uh, Dom, big fan. Do you think Fanchese was able to say <clears throat> he was not a rat when he was the only one in the genre? And we believe it. You know what? And I'll say this. I love Michael. Great guy, very classy guy. Two of the classy guys, Michael Franchese, Mikey Scars, without a doubt, hands down. <clears throat> he ratted. He gave information, and this is, you know what? It's not my opinion. It's a fact. It's a fact in the life. He ratted. Just the way I'm saying, what Joey's doing is a rat move. It's a rat move going on social media. He's a boss of a crime family. Omerta. Can't. It's not an opinion or murder. That's it. Secret society. You don't tell. You don't talk to anyone. Not law enforcement. You're not a public star. You know, back in the day, mafia guys used to have a, a mustache. Called them mustache peeps. Eventually, everybody knew mafia, mafia, because of the mustache, mafia. They started shaving it. Why? Because it's an underground society. You're not supposed to know. And um, people, what he's doing is not cool. So Joey said it straight out. Joey's entitled to say whatever he wants. He's entitled. And, uh, you know, I got to give him respect. If he wants to come out and say something, let him say it. I don't give him respect that he said Sonny's a rat. That I don't give him. It's not cool. It's not right. And he does owe Michael an apology. Let's see if he's man enough, if he has enough integrity to apologize to Michael. Let's see this. And uh, shout out to Lil Snuff. Lil Snuff, shout out. Gave me my, uh, my new nickname is Chicklets. So thank you, Snuff Snuff. Appreciate it. Much love to you. I, I like that kid. I like, And I say kid out of respect, uh, you know, not disrespect. I'm just, uh, I'm sure I'm a lot older than you. So you're a young man. Stay cool. Stay humble. You seem like a really good guy. Joey owes Michael no apology. Well, you know what? That's your opinion. Like it's my opinion. Opinion. I think he does. I think he does. So, but then again, you know, I could be wrong too. Joey Molino is your worst nightmare, Chicklets. Okay, wonderful. I'm glad he is. So, no more balls reference, please. Okay. <clears throat> I 
Okay. Uh, I'm just not going to answer stupid stuff. Joey doesn't talk about mob on this show. You're joking, right? <laughs> oh, my Lord. Give us some Vinny B stories. Maybe I might. Maybe I might. Let's lighten this up. So let's see what we could. Um, let's see what we could talk about with Vinny. Okay. I might have told this story once before, but I didn't tell it in its entirety. We're out one evening where it's Vinny, Bruno, that's Anthony and Delicato, um, Anthony Aiello. I think Joey Gambini was with us. Uh, maybe even Anthony Donato. I'm not sure about. Yeah, I think Donato was with us too that night. And we're out. We're in Manhattan. We're all having a good time. We're drinking, eating. So right away, Ace taps me. Hold on. Let me, uh, before I forget this. My knowledge. Thank you for the contribution. What's up, Dom? I want to confirm that Chris. I have no idea how to say that last name, was with the ISHT, would get it popping anytime, any place, from Fishkill to Comstock. That's 100. Take it to the bank. Chris Contago? Okay. I didn't know Chris. I don't think I knew Chris, but thank you for that one. Um. So we're out one night, we're eating, drinking, we're in the city in Manhattan, and right away Ace taps me on the leg. I know, I know, I know what he's saying, let's go to the penthouse club. So I look at Vinny, and I had with us, uh, I had gotten a limo that night. We had a car service with us, it was called Club, club Limos, and I would always, I would have a car with me three or four nights a week. Because I know when I'm going out drinking, it's just a lot easier. Um, I'd rather just pay the bill and have a car service instead of driving. So Vinny's with us. We're, we're out. So I look over to him. I said, Vin, you know where the guys want to go, right? So he looked. And Joe Messino didn't want us in strip clubs. Did not want us in strip clubs. So Vinny's like, yeah, Dom, I know. Okay. Now, this whole time, Vinny's like, Dom, I don't want you in these clubs. You can't go to these clubs. You know, Joe doesn't want us. And I'm like, Vin, the penthouse club's with me. I have to go there. All right, just keep it low key. Yeah, I don't go there much, I told him. He knew I was bullshitting him. So anyway, I make the phone call. I said, listen, I'm coming. There's about seven of us. We'll come and make sure my table's ready. Okay, Dom, you got it. We pull up. Limo pulls up, guy opens up the door, and it was Chris. Uh, guy Chris was uh, one of the door guys. Hugs me. Hey, Dom, good seeing you, this and that. We walk in. Now, there's the cash register. The cash register, the lady, young lady at the cash register, she comes out from behind me. Hi, Dom, hugs and kisses me. I have Vinny right behind me. Bruno's behind him, and everybody else is there. So we walk into the doors, they open up the inner doors, and the guys say, hi, Dom, hi. And as we're walking, now the head guy with a the bouncer, they're leading us, because now we have an entourage, they're leading us through. Place is packed. And as we're walking, you have the ladies with the drinks. Hi, Dom. Give me a kiss. Hi, Dom. <laughs> Kisses. We get to where we're sitting. So then he looks, he said, he looks over to Bruno. For someone who doesn't go here, everybody surely knows him like he, you know, like he's the president in the place. So we started laughing with that. But great time. Now we have the boss with us. So and you know, it's different. If Vinny and I are one on one, it's totally different. I can let my hair down, do what I want, but there's guys with us. So we have to conduct ourselves in that bullshit manner, you know, because to show the guys. Um you know, it's just a level of respect. That's what I didn't like about the life. So we're we're over there. Um, I mean, all the girls are coming over. I know everybody. I have the bottles. I had them get the funny money, throw it on the table. 
And uh, Vinny's like, girls with him. I'm like, yeah, I got you. I have you now. But we left uh, and we just had a really, really good time. Those are times you remember, you cherish. We had a lot of laughs in there that night uh, from Bruno. And then, you know, I'm going to break balls. I'm telling some of the girls, go ahead, go ahead, go. Just go. He's going to say no, but go ahead. He's not going to push you off of him. And, you know, they're throwing their tits, their butts in, in their faces. And I, I was just laughing. But we had a really, really good time that night. And, uh, you know, Vinny was a sport with it all, too. Definitely a sport. Uh, you know, it's part of the life. And for Joe Messino to put it, that out there, we can't go to strip clubs. We can't do this. But I could look at a life sentence and not enjoy the streets, not enjoy those little extras we could get. Like, that's what I didn't agree with. That I felt was hypocritical because he lived his life. So he's older. So us younger guys, we can't do anything. We can't have a good time. So um, that was about it with that. So let's go into some more comments and then we'll start wrapping it up. I know. Let me go back. I know I saw um, Xavier James. Here we go. Dom, so why don't you call out Scars? Because Scars says Joey isn't a disgrace and wants favor wants favor with Joey and you can see Mikey plays the middle I'll mention it to Mikey I'll mention it to him so we'll be talking soon so I'll definitely mention it to him see what he has to say um and that's it we'll see his opinion on it but I think Michael definitely agree listen everybody compliments you know, even Frances complimented um, Joey. Definitely complimented Joey. Welcomed him to the platform. Um, I don't, you know what? I'm not in the life, so I don't, I don't care. He could do what he wants. But I'm going to tell you the way it is if I was in the life. And I do, I said, I give him props for just saying, screw everybody, I'm doing this, and that's it. So I give him props on that. So if Mikey gave him props for something, that's Michael's opinion. He's entitled. But ask Michael, is it a rat move? When you take the code of omerta, is it a rat move that you speak to news media, reporters, about anything in your life, about anything, and see what he says? And if he's watching, I hope he uh, interjects. But I will ask him. Uh, my knowledge, too. Thank you for the contribution. Gene was asked on Jeff Nadu's show by Jeff, who's the toughest person you know? Oh, and Gene said Chris uh, Cantanjo, whatever his name is. Okay, that's in Gene's opinion. There's a lot of tough guys out there in the street, you know, um, through time. But And I think this guy, Chris, where is he now? Dead. Who killed him? Somebody who I heard Chris could rip. Rip them apart. Doesn't matter. You're not going to stop that lead. Doesn't matter how big you are, how strong you are with your hands. You know, it could be a little guy with no muscles at all, just afraid, could shoot you and kill you. And that's what I think happened in Chris's case. Uh, Nicholas. Michael should have, have took care of his father instead of his father dying in a nursing home like a dog. Well, listen... You don't know the story, and to say that I think is wrong. Um, you shouldn't talk about that uh, because who knows? Sometimes sometimes you get better care in nursing homes. Sometimes you just can't give that care and love and support. Um, you know, certain people, I know when my grandmother was, <clears throat> she, after my grandfather passed away, my grandmother had Alzheimer's and dementia, and my mother was there with the nurses, uh, her other sisters wanted to put her in a nursing home. My mother wouldn't have it. And it took a toll on my mother. My mother was there every day with her. It took a lot. It is a lot. It's a lot to sacrifice. But, you know, she did. She felt it was the right thing. But sometimes even in nursing homes, you get better care. They facilitate things much easier as far as there's other people there coping instead of them being locked in a place all day in the apartment. So, um, you know, everybody has their reasons. Mosey boy, in fact, period. 
with all due respect to Dom and all the fellows on social media cooperated with the government, I have much respect for their cooperation and sharing their experiences with us. Well, thank you for that. I appreciate it. And I'm just always going to keep things straight. I'm always going to correct people when I feel they're wrong. That's just the way it is. Um, I have a lot of stories to go into. And you know what, people? Um, I There are, and everybody knows, I stay off of the Genovese crime family because of my respect to two men in that family. Uh, but if somebody came out and crossed the line, then all bets are off. But I know they're going to control their their little puppies, who, and they know who I'm talking about. So, um, you know, when they pass, then it's a different story. Then I'll come out, and then you'll hear explosive stuff that's never been said before. Um, and that's it. So let's see what we have. Mikey Scars is the man. I definitely have a lot of respect. I like Mike. So great job, Dom. Thank you, uh, Anthony. And just it's just unbelievable. Like, this is just um, people, you want to get educated on the mafia. We're giving you an education on the life as if I was in the life. That's why I'm coming out. Um, that's why I'm coming out with, with stuff. Just to let you know. That's part of the life. So you're getting somebody telling you I'm no longer in the life. But if I was, this is the way I'd be thinking. This is the way I'd be feeling because this is what the life is about. And, you know, people are just always contradicting it. Uh, people that are in the life. And that's what's sad about it. Uh, Teresa James, why chicklets? I don't know. Ask little snuff. Why chicklets? So that's twice I got your name right. So you owe me two. You owe me too, Snuff. Uh, <laughs> I love it, though. I love it. Yeah, he called me Chicklets because I used to call him Little Scruff Gruff or Fluff Fluff. And uh, <laughs> he murdered my name last time. And he says, you know why he wants to say this? I'll say that. Why don't we just call him Chicklets? And I like it. That was good. Good comeback. I like going, you know, got to give it to him with that. Frank, it's definitely Dom, Vacher. Yep. EG, EG. Let's see what we have. Dom, can you please comment on people needing to stop calling Jeff Nadu fat and seriously getting sick of people saying his boobs just wrong? Yeah, people, why? Like, But sometimes you can't get over it, really. Um, people are just miserable. They have low self-esteem. It makes them feel good. So it's just ridiculous. And I said that before. So it's, you know, you just have to ignore it. El Greco, Joey's a funny guy. He really is. Oh, yeah, Joey has charisma. You got to give him that. Can't deny that. That's for sure. Who is the dumbest? Dom Sicali, Gene Borello, or Jimmy Calandra? I'll say myself, I'm the dumbest. How about that? Okay, so I'll win that hands down. I'm the dumbest because I just read your stupid comment. Hey, Dom, happy Sunday. Hey, Kevin, happy Sunday to you. Wish you and your family all the best. Uh, we will be announcing the winner. I'm still trying to find out how to do it. I got to get, and again, I just been so busy with other things. We have other products coming to line. Um, just it's consuming my time. By the way, cornbread, uh, if you, I don't think you're on, so I don't see your comment, but if you hear this show, know that we, you'll be getting a credit in five days for that bottle. Thank you. Uh, CJ, Xavier James, I need you go in, order it. Let me know. Hit me up what name you ordered it on. Don't pay it. Just go in, order it, put it in your shopping cart, and um, I'll make sure you get it. I'll, I'll make sure they don't charge you on it. So just put it in your shopping cart, tell me the name, and I'll make sure it gets taken care of. 
Take off the dunce cap. Okay, Frank. Wonderful. I'll take it off just for you. Xavier James, Tony, 100. Okay. Shout out. What? I saw cornbread. Tracking number was provided. Yes, cornbread was provided. And they got back to me. They said it should be, uh, you should be, have a credit to your credit card for the $29.99 as well. You got the free shipping and the $29.99 for the bottle I owe you. So, uh, that should come off and they said about five days. So expect it sometime this week. And please let me know when it does happen. So just to make sure to follow up, but thank you so much for the support. And I hope you really enjoy the vodka. Xavier James, Andrea, if it was only for the subs, they would, they would have done it a long time ago. Okay. So I guess you're commenting to somebody else. People, Listen, we don't get paid much on the YouTube. It, it's nice to see it's coming out. For me, it's therapy. I'm, I have fun. I wasn't having fun when all the trolls were attacking me. Um, as I took them off, it's much better. So I'm back to having fun again, keeping it light. And if you want true content with the mafia, and I'll call it the way it is. And I said, love Michael Franchese, one of the classiest guys, him and Scars. If you ask me, he ratted, and that's not an opinion. It's a fact. That's it. You gave information. Cool. Move on. He knows he cooperated. You know, however you want to word it. You know, it, there's no level. He did it. That's it. At the end of the day, look at all the good he's done all, throughout all these years. Great guy. So, you know, where do you get a bottle? Go to egvodka.com. Go to egvodka.com, and you can order it there online. It'll be shipped to you. If you order six bottles or more, I pay for the shipping. So you're getting it delivered at your doorstep. Uh, it's 100% gluten-free, organic. You have to put fluff fluff in for the promo code, and uh, you will definitely enjoy it. That's for sure. It's great for the holidays, good for a holiday gift. Uh, Enzo, again, if we assume... Molino is in the life. Why would you guys know the life? Well, okay. If we assume he's in the life, he is in the life. Just cut the bullshit. Can't have a boat ways, Enzo. Sorry. Why would you guys who know the life think he would go on what he sees as rats shows? Well, let me tell you something. If he's not in the life, why would he be so on to rats? Why would he be so concerned about rats if he's not in the life? Makes no sense. If you're out of a life, you denounce a life, you don't want any part of it. So why does it bother him so much about rats, people like myself? Okay, answer that one. But I know you'll have another excuse for that. He should not be on social media, period. Omerta, Jeff Nadu said it, Omerta. When you take that code, I know my induction ceremony. Never speak to law enforcement, news reporters, press, period. You're not a celebrity out there. We stay under the radar, not public enemy number one on social media. You do that, that's a rap move, and that's it. Let's go, Cowboys. That's my team. We have Michelle Martinez. I wish I understood everything around the stuff. Frustrating. Well, the life, it's very contradictory. What I'm stating is there's do's and don'ts in the life when you're part of the life. And what Joey Molino is doing is one of the don'ts. Uh, he's violating the code of Omerta by him coming on social media. But that's okay, I guess, because, you know, we have 90% of the people from mob historians to to just people intrigued, they think they know the life better than myself. You cooperated. Omerta, you cooperated. You're telling. Um, it's just, it's sad. It's sad. But at the end of the day, just come here and you're getting it straight out. You'll get an education about the life and how it is. But it's extremely contradictory. They contradict themselves all the time. Dom, who do you have? Eagles, Cowboys. I have to go with my Cowboys. Um, I haven't been following, but I'll go with the Cowboys. And we'll be wrapping this show up soon. 
Xavier James, Dom, can you put out the George Keo murder? Want to hear the story again? Missed the story from Dom. Okay, what I'm going to do, Xavier James, and I'm glad you mentioned this. I had this in my thing. I'm going to put it out for, you know what? I'll throw it out right now. After this show, I'm going to put out, I have it categorized, part one, two, and three. I'm going to put out part one. Then tomorrow night when I come on prime time, we're going to talk about part one. We'll go into it. Uh, I'll answer questions on it. And then after I answer the questions after tomorrow night show, I'll put part two out and we'll do the same thing for three days in a row. One, two, and three. I'll put it out to George Keomer. It's open for questions. And folks, I have some stories that were just brought to my attention too. And I'm going to write it down. Um, I didn't realize how wild I was. And this is how out of control I was. How just in that life, you forget things. And I'm not going to go into it now. But uh, these are stories like, I was like, oh, my God. When I heard this, I'm like, I do remember. I did that, huh? And it's just amazing stuff you forget that you just suppress. Um, maybe it's because uh, that's how wild I was. And it's disgusting, Yes. But uh, I'll come out with those stories, too. Dom, who's going to win our fishing <laughs> debut? You or me? Just a fun question. Mosey boy, we go fishing. One of us is not coming back. LOL. You like that one with the George Keel. That was in the story. You'll be hearing that one. So, Dom, give me the Eagles for 30 push-ups. You know what? Take the Eagles. I'll take the Cowboys. Who is that from? Let me see. Joel. Let me write it down. Joel. Joel, what I'll do is I'll take the Eagles. Uh, you take the Eagles. I'll take the Cowboys. If you win, you have a free bottle of EG Vodka coming to you. All right? How about that? No, you know what? Not... I'll give you a choice, either a bottle of EG or the Bad Santa cigars, or no, the Three Capo cigars. So let me know what you want if you win. And um, if if you lose, subscribe to the channel. or get two people, get five people to subscribe to my channel. Okay? Is that a fair bet? Let me know before we sign off. Thanks, Dom. Whoever loses got 30 push-ups. Good deal, Dom. Okay. So, oh, bets on. We got Joe. Okay, five subscribers if you lose. And with me, you get either EG or the cigars. You let me know, and I'll send it to you. Okay, was Sampara Liquors on First Avenue in East Harlem? I don't know. I'm sorry, uh, New York City. Uh, Peter Bryant, EGV, go to egvodka.com, folks, order it today, 100% gluten-free, organic, we have three flavors, rosemary lavender, which is great with the lemonade, we have Earl Grey, which is great with the espresso martinis, and we have the regular, which is great with everything, smooth, gluten-free, organic, buy six bottles or more, put the promo code at the end, fluff, fluff, shipping is on me. So great holiday gift or even to drink with the family. You'll love it. You won't be disappointed. Get your EG Vodka today, as Jason just said. Quiet Dom's brother, his club was by the funeral home. Okay. Um, I don't know. Ronnie, got my two bottles EG for Christmas. Thank you, Ronnie. It's greatly appreciated. How do you like it? Did you try it yet? Let me know. Give us your thoughts and be honest. If you don't like it, tell me. But I haven't really heard anybody who says honestly that it's no good. EG rolls off your tongue. Thanks, Pete. It's that good. Thank you, folks. With that, folks, who's fluff? Who's fluffy? Fluff, fluff was my cat that passed away. 
Uh, so I put the promo code Fluff Fluff. That's what I used to call her. Um, so. Uh, Sam Molino, some vodka. Molino probably won't drink it. He'd probably pour it out, and I wouldn't do that, you know. Um, I, I'm not looking to start shit with him. So, you know, he's a tough guy. I'm not. He's a gangster. I'm not, you know. You know, I'm a crackhead. Remember, Molino called me a crackhead, so. Never saw a 230-pound crackhead, you know, so whatever. Keep on throwing his digs. But I got to give uh, Lil Snuff his props. Chicklets. Chicklets is here. I like that. Made me laugh with that. Very good. So with that, folks, love everybody. Hit that subscribe button. Um, and much love and respect to everybody. Have a great evening. Go Cowboys. And uh, we'll see everybody tonight. Tomorrow night, prime time, six thirty. We'll discuss the George Keo, the George Keo, uh, part one. I'm gonna put it out there now. The murder of George Keo. That was my first murder. In my, I think I was 22 years old. They got shot in the hotel room, motel room, and we dragged the body out. So it's an interesting murder. How everything went down. With that, everybody, much love and respect. Have a great day. See everybody tomorrow night, prime time, six thirty. Monday mafia Monday night mafia mayhem peace out